Hello and welcome back to Garage Door Guidance and in this video I did want to show you guys how to measure your spring with a tape measure. So the way these are measured is they go by the spring gauge first, then you have the diameter, and then you have the actual length of the spring itself. To start off we need the coil count. Uh, which will determine the gauge of the spring in correspondence with that chart that I add here as well. But we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we're right here about four and an eighth um, on our twenty coil count, which should correspond to a .207. Double check that chart, of course. But again, just count that 20 coils, match it to the chart, and that should give you the gauge of your spring itself. So the next measurement we want is the diameter, the thickness of the spring itself. To get the diameter, what you wanna do is get your, if you have a broken spring, you kinda put this up against it like so. You will notice it will ride at about two inches. So which will give you the two inch diameter. Typically you either have a two inch diameter, which is the broken one I have here, or an inch and three quarters, which is this guy here. Uh, this one is not broken. You can do the same by measuring this distance here. If you look right in there, you'll see it's an inch and three quarters on this guy. And last but not least, we do need the length of the spring here. So just put it on the end of the wire itself. You don't want to go cone to cone. You go the end of the wire to the other end of the wire. And so just stretch it across. So right here you'll see the spring is right about 27 inches long. Um, again, this, this particular measurement can be off by about a quarter of an inch. So if you've got 26 and three quarters or 27 and a quarter, uh, when you're looking up the spring online, just make sure you're within that quarter inch and you should be okay. Because uh, you won't exactly, sometimes you won't find the exact measurement. For example, the 27 inch spring. The two most common springs that are um, used on garage doors. I'll include these two links down in the description below. Again, just to reiterate, you need the gauge, the wire gauge of your spring, you need the diameter of your spring, and you need the length of your spring, and that will help you get the correct replacement spring for your garage door. But that is what you need in order to do that. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Again, just when you're counting 20 coils, refer to that chart. Thanks for watching Garage Door Guidance. Be sure to subscribe if you did find this helpful. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye for now.